I've been craving for a dish that has some curry in it, but then I used to live, I used to work with someone from Sri Lanka and uh, when I was a student assistant in a, um, in a software program. And so she used to bring these dishes that were so delicious. But Sri Lanka has a mixture of bananas and coconut and curry and potatoes and none and I absolutely loved it so um, I had a craving and I went to this um, curry uh, corn uh, this curry um, restaurant well Indian restaurant and it happens to have the curry name on there and I said oh, I've been craving it so I just said just make me some of your none and some potatoes so delicious I don't know how he did it so I'm going to attempt to do a type of marsala um, chicken with the potatoes and the Indian spices and look at all the spices that you need I, I looked online to see which one there's so many different variations of tiki masala and chicken and um, so I said well I'm just gonna use my culinary skills and kind of make up my own so here it goes and one thing is that you have to marinate the chicken in the um, for several hours you have to marinate the chicken in the yogurt for several hours which is a kind of a pain so hopefully I get this right if not I have my cheat notes over here and um, I have some 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 thighs here some organic chicken thighs I have some red potatoes that I cut in large and I peeled and I have soak them in, in uh, water and then I have the yogurt the yogurt and it's starting to separate which isn't a bad sign and I have all the spices and the and I thought I would make I add a little bit more and instead of using the heavy cream I think I want to use the coconut milk because I want to get that coconut flavor and then I have my tomatoes and onions and cilantro and I have these beautiful curry leaves that I found at an Asian market and I've never been to a real Asian market I mean I've kind of passed through but I went to one and it was amazing I said wow this is a whole new color and I started thinking about how India is kind of close, all the India and how the Asian regions are kind of close and how the foods have changed throughout, even the Moroccan foods and around this time of year I kind of step out of the box and I kind of kind of look for um, some recipes that um, remind me outside of where I live and which is the UA, USA. And, um, and we have so many that come into our country and I love experimenting. And I don't like hanging around with anybody that doesn't like to experiment these foods. Because <laughs> I love experimenting these foods, these, these, uh, these beautiful spices that, that um, India uses. I found this um, seven spices and um, in the seven spices they have... Um, Hope I'm not boring you, but this is all new to me. So, um, in the seven spices, they have um, allspice, black pepper, coriander, cloves, cumin, nutmeg, and other spices. Also, in my search of these spices, um, the marsala spice I found is a mixture of spices. The marsala the garam marsala spice is a mixture of coriander, cumin cardamom, peppercorns, fennel, mustard, cloves, red pepper flakes, and they're all heated up and they're mixed in this um, to make a spice. And I had no idea, I was looking, I went to like four different stores to look for some masala spice and I finally went to a, uh, a, a Whole Foods store and found the marsala spice in a small packet. I said, I want to know what it is. So I turned the packet around 
and I started reading the ingredients, I said, oh, I have all those things at home. So I learned it was a learning venture for me. And then I have, so I have some that seven spice in there, and then I have, um, oh, this is the seven spice, because it's different. And this is the um, Indian spice. And I love the Indian spice because it has curry in it. And oh, I love curry. I just love curry. I, I love it very much. And um, this is the, <laughs> the coriander, which is totally different. And then I have in here, in my mom's mocajete. And oh, I got something in my eye. Excuse me. Sorry about that. I have um, a ground up some of these um, seed pods and I that coriander is so delicious but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm probably gonna just put it in the um, the sauce when I make it oh it smells so good my mom would have loved it um, when I make the sauce I'm um, I'm going to be using um, these spices I'm just gonna dump them in and just let them cook and um, the other thing is, um, I found so I found out that I want to use instead of using the ghee, I'm going to use the coconut oil. So that's going to give it that sweetness. And you could use the ghee. The ghee is a butter that is slowly cooked, and you take the fat out of the butter, and then you just kind of let it set, and then it's it's very clear. You can buy the ghee. It's kind of pricey, but because they've already processed it for it, but you can make your own heat. So, um, what I did was I trimmed my chicken, and I, these are my little chicharrones. Um, what I did was I trimmed the chicken, and then I, I um, took the, the, the skin, and I just sauteed it in the pan. <laughs> to get that, um, I got some natural fats out of the chicken. So here we go. I wasn't too sure if I was going to maybe saute the chicken first and then um, take it out and marinate it. You could do it that way, but I think I'm going to follow the rule of thumb because these guys probably know what they're doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, this is my yogurt, and it's about a cup and a half to two cups. It's probably a cup and a half. I don't need that much because of my um, chicken. So I'm going to try to sneak over here so you can kind of see what I'm doing. And some of the recipes tell me to use the spices in with the chicken. So while, and then outside of the chicken. So this is grated um, ginger. So what I did was I peeled it. I just peeled it with the back of the spoon. And then I grated it on this grater. And so I have a, like about a teaspoon and a half of that that I'm going to put in it. And, and then I found these huge um, garlic cloves. And what I'm going to do is I've already chopped up, minced it. it. It calls for you to grate it, but I'm going to go ahead and just put that in there. And I have extra for the sauce. And then I have some of the so seven spice. I have some cayenne pepper. I'm going to go ahead and put just a pinch, a pinch of cayenne pepper, and then I'll probably put like about, um, this is like a quarter of a teaspoon of my um, smoked paprika. I could use more paprika, but I ran out, so, but I'm going to use, go ahead and put uh, that seven spices that I, I'm going to put like, uh, that's a quarter of a teaspoon, that's, I'm going to try to put like a teaspoon. It's a quarter of a teaspoon times three quarters of a teaspoon. And this is the Indian spice. I'm going to put some of that in there, about a half a teaspoon. And then a little bit more coriander. And I'm kind of winging this as I go. These are all quarter teaspoon measurements, so I'm just putting like a half teaspoon. And then I'm going to put um, some salt and pepper mixture in there just to give it that little saltiness. And that's probably about a quarter of a teaspoon. And I'm gonna mix that up. Oh, 
Oh, that smells cool. It smells good. Last year I made a Moroccan dish. And I said, ah, this this year it's going to be Indian. I wish I could just go to India. I would love to go to India. Want to send me to India? I'll go. <laughs> so I can learn how to cook, like the real cuisine. And so, I'm going to take that and, um, where is my, oh, there it is, my little tongs. And just kind of, oh, let that, I'm going to let that marinate and then we'll get started on, on our, um, cause this is going to be cooking separately. So I have the bones. You could use um, boneless. It does cause for boneless. You can make kebabs out of this. But instead of that buttermilk, <laughs> which is really close to um, to me because the flavors are very similar um, to uh, the yogurt. And oh, that smells so good. Yum. And so I'm going to set this aside. And cover it up. Just cover it up with some um, plastic wrap. I got a chance to do a little exploring in my area, and I couldn't believe how much it has developed. And I'm thinking, I'm looking at these huge houses that look like mansions over here, and I'm thinking, what the heck, the heck people get? How do they get these big, huge mansion houses? Can't be all presidents up there. So, and I, I can believe how much our land is developing, and I'm thinking, well, uh, there's got to be some some economic resources out there that the, that people can afford to live in these huge houses, but hey. I guess everything comes with a price, right? So what I'm going to do is put this in the refrigerator while we make our sauce. Okay, you're still recording. <laughs> so, let's set this aside. Wash my hands. Now I want to put potatoes in them. I want to put the potatoes in them. I just want to put potatoes in them because I just think potatoes are yummy. So I'm going to go ahead and heat that up. And basically what I'm going to do is, um, I don't want to block what I'm doing here. Uh, let's see. Maybe what I'll do is rearrange a little bit. See what the heck I'm doing. And put this up here. High level. I want you to be able to see that. Okay. And there you go. While that's heating up, I put all my little ingredients. And what I'm going to do is um, go ahead and cut some more of the garlic and while well, that's heating up Then I'm going to, and this is really easy, you just kind of scrape it in the back of your knife. You can scrape it. And see all that stuff comes oops. All that stuff comes out. Nice little trick, huh? I just want to 
on enough to bring that flavor. So there's already ginger with the, we're going to add a little bit more ginger. Just going to come over here with the, to the sink. Alrighty. And then, get my knife. I said I was going to quit cooking. lost like a lost lamb <laughs> hey if it's in you it's just as in you there's something about it I mean I could be anything I guess but cooking is just I don't know just to me it's therapeutic and to me it's like art on a plate that you can eat be a teacher. I was told I should be a teacher. Hey, I wouldn't mind like doing that. That'd be kind of fun. Teach cooking. Alrighty. So I would say that's about a heaping tablespoon of, um, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get some of my garlic in there as well. You know, kind of grate the garlic. That's going to release a lot of the... Careful with your fingers. Alrighty. So I have my garlic. And I have my ginger already grated. I'll chop it up a little bit more. Alrighty. Okay. Yep, that's hot. <laughs> that's really hot. Hot, hot. Uh oh. I need the other tongue. And I'm going to remove my little skins, my little crispy skins. I'm not going to discard those because you can actually use them to plate. You could slice them up and get that little crunchiness when you're serving. So don't discard your, your skin when you're plating your beautiful plates. And so I have that oil, and to that I'm going to add some more of that. So I probably have like a good couple of teaspoons of oil in there. So I'll probably add a little bit, about a good tablespoon of oil. Maybe. Okay. About a couple of tablespoons of oil. Of the coconut oil. Set it now. I'm gonna make this little Marcella sauce, which has got like um, we've got a little bit of Sri Lanka in it, <laughs> I guess, and then um, some Indian and my own little creation. So I think it'll be it'll be delicious. I'll make sure that you're on. I have my rice that's already cooked it's perfect so I mean I'm happy with it so I'm going to add the um, leaves I'm gonna fry them lightly fry them before and where is my okay so I'm gonna add my my cardamom seed so I'm gonna take those the, the outside, the hard husk, I'm going to remove them. So I'll add those. And I could already, I could smell that already. It's, oh my goodness. I'm going to add my, you see that? <laughs> These are kind of pungent. Oh, 
it's because I had water in them. Smart, right? So I'm going to add my... Um, come on, let me get a towel here. Kind of wipe them off. Make sure they're dry. <laughs> get back at me. I'm 
to add a little bit of tomato paste. About a good tablespoon will do, just to bring some color. I might add a little bit more of my Indian spice, because I really like it a lot. So let me see my Indian spice. Let's say about another. I really want that smell. That that smell of the I want that aromatic smell of the curry and oh yeah. Okay, so that's good. So it's kind of a little dark brown here. I'll show you that. See how it's starting to get a little. See that. So I'm going to get with, oops, with that, um, don't do that, <laughs> with that, um, tomato paste. This is an unedited clip, so you're going to see the, the flaws that I have. <laughs> so with the, um, tomato paste, it's going to brown up all those little veggies. I kind of want to taste it. That looks like it's going to be delicious. Let me see. Uh. My goodness. With the tomatoes, the tomato paste, it brings a nice acidity to it. Now I'm going to add my, my potatoes. To it. And if it looks like you need a little bit more um, oil in there, coconut oil or your ghee, by all means add it. Now I do have the chicken broth just in case, but everything turns out like I want it to. I might be using a little bit of the chicken broth. Oh, ha, ha. I could just eat that with that non bread, <laughs> the potatoes. Yum. And that's a beautiful picture right there. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's a beautiful picture. There's another camera so I can take a picture of it. Here you go. I want you to see that. See that? 